the Joe Rogan experience. It's a very, you know, it, it's it's a very hard path. And, and you know, one of the happiest place for me to go and the saddest place to go, it's the gym. When I go train to the gym, it's the happiest place for me to go because I can practice the sport that I love because I love training. You know, I love the science of fighting. And it's very sad too because after training, there's always some guys that come to me to, 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 because they seek some advice. And I always give them advice regarding fighting, but a lot of them, my advice for them would be, hey, bro, you know, you should hang up, hang up your gloves and find a real job, you know, right. because, some of them, because right. I, I've seen this movie and yeah. it's not a good ending, my friend. <laughs> like, like, go find. But if I tell yeah. them the truth, They'll get mad at you. They get mad at me yeah. because I'll be like, oh, yeah, he's, he's, you know what I mean? Like, right, you're jealous. Yeah, he's jealous, yeah. you know, he's, he's arrogant and stuff, you yeah. know, but it, it, that's the thing. I tell my real friends that when it's time to hang up the gloves, I tell them the truth. I said, listen, yeah. and I said to them, like I said, listen, man, it, it, what's good for you now? You know, you know, you, you know, it's a little bit like in um, the movie uh, uh, with uh, Bruce Willis, you know, uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino, you know, oh, the, Pulp Fiction. Pulp fi yeah. Fiction, you know, if you if you would if you would have made it, you would have made it before, you know. Mm. <laughs> when he made that speech, you know, it's a little bit the same thing. But it's it's I love that monologue. It's amazing. But That's it's great. the truth. A lot it of is. people should relate to this, but it's unfortunate. Well, the reason why champions are so exceptional is because it's so hard to become a champion. It's so rare. All the stars have to align. You have to have mental prowess, physical prowess. You have to have great coaching. You have to have so many different factors have to come together. And also fortune. I mean, yes. your guy has been through some surgeries. Yes. And we all know guys who they get injured and they can never even train again. It happens. It's unusual, but it can happen. And we're dealing with this, this giant hurricane of possibilities yes. for someone to whoosh, boom come out of that and be a george st pierre or be a khabib Nurmagomedov or a john jones or someone who's exceptional it's so rare so when someone's kid comes up to you and says i'm going to be the next world champion you're like uh, the possibility that the odds of failure are so they're so, so high, high. It's, they're it's, so high that's the thing it's it's i believe it's you need to have a certain predisposition yeah i met in my life incredible mentors that had a huge influence on me they, they they taught me like great life lessons techniques and it's incredible like if i would not have had that those those guys who influenced me i would never have been where i am right now and plus on top of that you know i, I got i worked really hard and i was lucky you know, like the star we're all aligned, but you need all that. And you, know? you need you, the great coaching is so important, too. There's so many guys that are really talented, but they, they, they have meathead coaches and their coaches train them the wrong way. So they spar full blast in the gym and then they go out and they they lose. And then they ha their, their coach has them sparring a couple of weeks after they get knocked out and that kind of shit. And, and they don't have the technical prowess, the technical proficiency to teach a child or a kid or an athlete right. I, you, you can get unlucky, you know? I, I believe the best way to improve it's when it's playful. I've seen so many guys, Joe, I can't say names, but it's crazy how many guys I've seen that left their career in the gyms. Yeah. Because they spar too hard. Every sparring for them, it's it's about winning the round. Yeah, it's about life or death. You, yeah. you cannot improve like this. It right. needs to be playful. Of yeah. course, when you're in training camp and your fight is coming up, you need to somehow trying to recreate that environment of discomfort, that stress. But when you're outside of that preparation zone, you need, you need to be playful. And that's when you, you improve, when it's playful, when it's like a game, you know, because you, you will be more prone to trying new things. And, and by trying new things, you, you'll, you'll adapt. You'll, you'll be like, oh, this one works, this one doesn't work. But the one that works, I keep it in my back yeah, pocket, you know, yeah. and it, it makes you grow. That's a problem, you know. I've seen, like, very often I see guys, like, sparring. They, 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 they lose a lot of brain cells. It's terrible. It's terrible. terrible. And I'm world, I'm former world champion, you know. Like, when I spar with, with guys, very often they are nervous, so they become all stiff. And when they hit, they hit so hard. I tell them, I'm like. You don't get ready. You don't have any fight coming up soon. Like just have fun, but relax. I tell them relax, and they very often they they relax. You know, some will try to make you know. So try I have to, to answer back. Off, yeah. I have to, but but very often 
they relax and 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 they're surprised that it, because it's so so much of an egotistic sport you know like we have this mentality that oh if the guy tell you to relax it's because he's scared you know right it's so stupid you know but it's that's how if you want to improve you need to it needs to be playful and and in everything you know you, we say oh you when i say sparring when i when i'm about to spar with someone i never sparred before i that's what i do i tell him i say hey, would you like to play a little bit i don't use the word sparring because sparring is like aggression. In it. Mm. I, I tell him, I say, hey, would you like to play a little bit there? Then we touch glove and we play. And and I never go hard. I always start very, very slow. And if I see that he's going too hard, I tell him, I say, hey, please go, go go more more easy. And of course, if he's getting ready for a fight, it's different. It's a different situation. But you know that's how it is. You know, and you need, you shouldn't be afraid to tell your training partner, hey, please like put it like slow down a notch you know like like when you see guys trying to throw a head kick to knock each other out you know in boxing sparring it's different because we we have big gloves big headgear you know they can go hard i mean we, even if it's not good because it's repeatedly blows repetition to with the blows to the head but in mma with the kicks it's the damage is basically like a baseball bat hitting your head you can't do that it's no, it's terrible. crazy man the ties have it right right that's right. That's right. Because they have so many fights. They have so many fights that... And also, when you fight someone... When I fight someone, it happens very often in my career. Like, when I fight someone, you have a, a connection with the guy you fight. A lot of things happen here. And real fighter will know that, what I'm talking about. The connection that we have. Because you look at each other. And these, this connection, you cannot see it when you watch a fight on TV. But very often, in most of my fight, when I went to decision, I could see the guy break, breaking, folding. Like, he's letting me know that he doesn't fight to win anymore. He's fighting to not lose. Mm. And like I said earlier, it's not up to me trying to, trying to push the pace, trying to, to finish him and, and increasing my risk of getting caught by a counter punch and getting knocked out. You know, it's up to him to take the risk, you know, because he's losing the fight. And the idea in this game, you want to save yourself for another day. I mean, it, it's sad to say for the fan, but this, the, this is the truth. If you win and that's what you're doing is good, you win, you're winning the fight, you know. You, you're going to get paid the, the, the same amount of money. Of course, if you have a, like a, an highlight reel, something like that, it, it could increase your pay. But, but in terms of... Your career, I believe you should see your career as a marathon, not as a sprint. So you, you, you kind of save yourself. And a lot of time I've fought guys, I could see in their face that, oh, he doesn't want to be there anymore. Like, I know I'm winning the fight before even the fight is over. They get desperate. Of course, they're going to throw a haymaker or something, but I know they're not going to take any risk because they, they're, they're hurt. They're, they lost already. They know that I'm better than them. And that's when I know I get the fight. And I know that I just need to be on cruise control. I can win if they don't... Like, it's hard to, to finish someone who doesn't fight to win anymore. Right. You see very often champions in, in MMA have a very dominate, dominant career in the beginning. You know, they finish a lot of their opponent. But after a while, it become it kind of peak because... All the entire UFC roster is studying you and they figure you out. Maybe they didn't figure you out how to beat you, but they figure out how to kind of survive and, and hang in there with you. John Jones is a good example of that, right? Everybody, myself, same yeah. thing. Like every, like a lot of guys, Anderson Silva, the, the, mm -hmm. the, 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 all the, the, the champions. That's what happened. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.